Rivera says women who leave men who cheat are weak. Kourtney Kardashian is back with Scott Disick, but is this a good look? Rapper J. Cole sets up a dispute over Kanye West. Hidden Figures opens in theaters soon. And we have the 4 in 1 Social, Thought of the Week, and Photo of the Week. So stay tuned. Welcome to What's the 4 in 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. And I'm Jasmine Blake. I'm Onika McLean. Yeah, so let's get started with some quick takes, ladies. Uh, so we start out with the domestic movie box office. So Moana, the Disney film about a young woman leaving a safe, comfortable home, venturing out into a dangerous world, and finding her destiny is still number one. Wow. Yeah, Moana's cumulative box office revenue for the past two weeks is nearly $119,900,000. Wow. That's a lot and, of money. Right? But Disney always like... Right? Yeah, so movies that we've reviewed that are still on the top 10 are Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's perched at number two with 183 million after three weeks. Allied is number four with 29 million after two weeks. And Almost Christmas, which we were talking about, starring Danny Glover, Monique, Gabrielle Union, and Omar Epps and others, pulled in 38 million after four weeks. Oh, that's good. Right. Mm. <laughs> mm. I don't, you know what? When I hear the n the numbers at the box office, right. I'm like, where's all that? We we have that much discretionary income that you get yes. 120 <laughs> million dollars <laughs> yes. to go to the movies. Like, okay, but uh, so if you guys have not seen Almost Christmas, I'm waiting because mm -hmm. I want to get I want it to be Almost Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do, right? But. If you haven't seen it, you guys should really check it out. There are uh -huh. reviews on our website, so you guys log on to our website so that you can see what we what we think about it, right? So, right. Uh, have you guys heard about Rebecca Malstrom, the Twitter? Uh, yes. Have you guys heard about her? Yes, her Twitter's like going crazy. So, if you haven't heard, okay, so this is what Miss Rebecca did, right? It was <laughs> Thanksgiving, and she came down to the family dinner table dressed appropriately, I guess, right? <laughs> she had on a Black Lives Matter t-shirt, and they were like, Becca, take that off. <laughs> Go change that shirt. She was like, okay. She went back, and she came, she changed her shirt, and then she posted on Twitter, when your family tells you to change your shirt, she put on another Black <laughs> Lives Matter t-shirt, <laughs> right? Hilarious. So... Twitter went crazy, right? So they invited her to all these their Thanksgiving dinners and their and cookouts. Just pull up, no invitation. So Becca is just a part of the black community at this point because Black Lives Matter to her. No, right? but what did her family say? Like once they they saw her in a new T-shirt, they, they were not happy because <laughs> they because you know like think about it. Thanksgiving was Trump would just got in and everybody still was shocked and like we we're just gonna have family time, right? Right? Okay, so. But they were really happy about her taking a stand for what she believed in and also getting all this notoriety on Twitter. So <laughs> good for you, Becca. Go, go Becca. <laughs> so, guys, have you ever wished that you could watch like, your favorite Netflix movie or TV show while you're on a plane? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Well, definitely. now you can. Netflix introduced offline downloads. So now you can watch your favorite movies. Or shows anywhere you want. Plane, subway, bus, whatever. This is going to be horrible, though, because, you know, people watch television while they're walking up the subway station. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. So then they're going to be watching, watching whatever. <laughs> oh, that's going to be horrible. I hate that. When people are, like, playing a game and they're walking up the stairs. And you're, like, about to fall. And you're, like, move faster. Like, we are trying to get someplace. What I are you doing? I always say stuff like, it's the phone. I knew it was the phone. <laughs> No. I'm short and angry. Oh, well. The plane idea seems good, though. The plane, but the train, too. Think about that. Uh, yeah, I see what you're now doing. Now you can't even meet a, a guy on a train because he's going to be... <laughs> oh, Lord. You can always say, what you watching? I'm watching that, too, boo. You know what I'm saying? You can still make it work. No, because they're going to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Say it again. Say it again. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I like know. it. I like it. But keep it locked. When we come back, we're bringing you more stories that are popping. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one Now, ladies, this story is everything to me. Oh, okay. So you know how the European Union had Brexit, right? Yeah. And then immediately after, people were like, oh, no, what did we do? They regretted it, right? So now, right here in the United States, people who voted for Trump now have some bias remorse. 
So I'm like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so a Tumblr account is actually dedicated to people who are saying they regret voting for Trump. So some of my favorites are like people who, who are JBC Test 1969 who are shocked, I mean shocked, that Trump, a multi-billionaire, chose Goldman Sachs banker and fellow multi-millionaire as Treasury Secretary. I'm like, that's, what did you think he was going to do? So you believe that he was a populist and you believe that... But that's what he was supposed to do. But he's trying to, he's, <laughs> he's, 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 doing a, he's trying to get um, Ben Carson for the head of urban uh, which development. Which is crazy. I think he's what does that dude even yeah, know no, about But all housing. I'm saying is they probably are upset because he said he was going to build a wall. And then he said, well, maybe a yeah. fix. <laughs> because he's backpedaling on all the stuff that yeah, he promised in the campaign. He's not locking her up. People are mad too. Somebody else said, "Oh, why is he not?" Baby Otto was like, "Why? Why isn't he locking her up?" Like because he yeah. was joking. But he, they didn't believe that though. Because they got y'all got hit promises. with the okie doke. Now y'all in the same boat as us, unhappy with your candidate. Mm, 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 mm. I'm mm. I'm gloating. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I, Cruz, Zinc or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always yeah. worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. So, ladies, we absolutely have to talk about this next What's Poppin' story, and that is Insecure with Issa Rae. I love that show. Yes. She brings she brings everything, everything you've ever thought about. Man, your best friend, um, just social media, the whole thing. I love it. Wait love a minute. It. Did you watch Awkward Black Girl when she had it? I didn't, but every my friends did, and they loved it. Oh, my God. And then so, I just, Awkward Black her. Girl was funnier but when really? I say the, and she uses a lot of characters from Orbit, 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 Black, Black Girl. Okay. Like the guy that lives in her building that, that's the a one. blood that won't say, say C. See. So he's like, <laughs> I like that bouch. And that that bouch. Couch. Couch. He's like, <laughs> and the bear bears. Yes. He's like, can't say care bears. Yeah. Bear, bear bears. Bear bears. <laughs> so his kids, it's, it's so hilarious. It's right. so hilarious. And the writing is so on point exactly. it's about friendship it's about love it's mm -hmm. just it's about working it's about millennials <laughs> in this workplace and how you assimilate into this society it is bananas you have to watch it you have to watch, watch it. it and especially the, the part with broken broken pussy broken oh and she's like so, a rapper right or, or, or she wanted to be a rapper and and so she's you know how you're in the mirror i don't know about you but i do that sometimes like you play it off in the mirror you're like i i'm gonna look like this when i say it Listen, first of all, like yeah, that. That's like, so she does that whole meal all the work. Time. It's like yeah. the bomb. So if you guys haven't watched it, please watch it. And then hit us up on our Facebook page and let us know what you think because we're watching it and we yes, would love to open are. the dialogue as it relates to this show because she's an African American, she's a filmmaker, and she was independent, and she's making her way. And it's just such an awesome story yes. behind the story. Right. Boyfriend, the whole thing, white people. The boyfriend, the, white people, white the boyfriend people. with the no job, the no job for four years. <laughs> but he's food. no, but he's a no, but he's an educated man. He's just having a hard way for four years. For four I, years, see, eating, see up food, eating up her food. When I tell you, girl, it's so good. You're like, yes. And then she has this best friend that's a lawyer, and the best friend can't find a man to like. And that's with. where broken pussy comes in. And she says mm -hmm. to that's her, she says, I think your pussy's broken. And then, and then, and then they have a dialogue yeah. about that. It's hilarious. We don't normally like cross sell stuff, but we are selling this exactly. black girl magic like on a thousand. Right. <laughs> wow, these are really good. You act surprised.
practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. <laughs> Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... <laughs> it is I, Krugs, Zink or Bell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Have you guys uh, heard anything from J. Cole? His new yeah, album. Yeah, his new album. So False Prophets, right? He has this He has this song, pa so False Prophets. So good. It, it is so good because he is just so dope. Right, but you know Twitter always fussing and fighting. They think that he's coming for Kanye's neck, but if you listen no. to it, he's really not coming for Kanye's neck. Actually, what he's saying is, Kanye, you bought into the hype, right? And you probably shouldn't have. You had too many yes men around you, and you probably shouldn't have. And then Wale, he has a justifiable argument with Wale because Wale is always talking about like the industry is not accepting him when when he has all these hardcore followers, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So. What J. Cole is saying in False Prophets is, you know, maybe I shouldn't have idolized exactly. Kanye. Maybe I shouldn't idolize mere mortals. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just, you know, I, we all know that he wrote the song um, prior to um, Kanye's hospitalization, mm -hmm. right? And it, But, so you know, Twitter went bananas. But I'm just thinking maybe he should have probably, like, pulled back a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I mean... Like you said, he made it before he was hospitalized. It dropped when it dropped. I mean, it's still relevant whether he's in the hospital or out of the hospital. Like, yes, you believe in your own hype. You're you're worshiping money and materialism in a way that, that, that's feeding your ego so much that you're losing touch with who you are. I think that he was on point. And that can only come from somebody who truly looked up to you. Like, truly you can just him. see mm -hmm. how somebody's it. like, oh, you're he my said, idol. And to said, see you crumble like this is crazy. J. Cole said... I listen to your old stuff and I know you can't top it. Like that's right. so messed up. Right. And, but then you still, every time someone talks about Kanye, I always have to, you know, think back to his mom mm -hmm. and just how his mom died getting plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of ironically marry plastic, plastic surgery, <laughs> like, plastic like walking, right? right? Yeah. So I just feel like with that, with Kanye, you know, you just got to pray for him because he's a lost soul at this point. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, hopefully he'll get back on track. Do you do you think he will get back on track? Do you think he can find his way again and kind of get know. his mind right? I don't know. It's really hard to say with the Kardashians. All the men they mess around <laughs> with tend to have such deep problems. And I read an article that said that they were they were um, separate. They were living apart, not separated, but Kim and Kanye were living yeah. apart. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't seem like a ride or die, Kanye. I mm. mean. I don't know. Unlike Tammy Rivera. Oh. <laughs> I like that segue, girl. I like that segue. I'm loving hip hop Atlanta. Girl, she's standing by her man. Stand by y'all, man. Mm -hmm. That's right, Tammy. Mm -hmm. So she was getting flack because she took her husband she was back. She getting flack. Waka yeah. Flack. Waka, getting <laughs> flack because she took Waka Flocka back. <laughs> right? Follow that. She took Waka Flocka back. Um, after he cheated you know mm -hmm. she was like she wasn't going to take him back and all this stuff but what she said was really interesting she said that her mom told her that you can find a man with means and you can find a man that may not cheat on you and you can find a man that has a father in their lives and all those things but you to find someone that you love 
it's going to be a hard thing. Mm -hmm. So she felt she feels that she found someone that loves her and he's willing to change his life because he cheated on her. But she feels that he didn't have a father. Look at <laughs> Jasmine, your and face is said, like what? She you said he didn't have a father and he neck. didn't know. She said he didn't know. So go ahead, millennial, take it away. Uh, but didn't Waka cheat on her numerous times? Yeah, but now he says sorry. Like, Come don't on. judge the man. Come on. He doesn't love her. Come on. And you don't think so? What about people with open relationships? Not. What do you but, mean? But their relationship is not open. Yeah. One side could be open. No, that's Absolutely not a not. definition of an open you relationship. Guys. Womp, womp, And womp, he embarrasses womp. her during interviews, too, and takes all the credit for it. He doesn't love her. He does. Why would you say no? Girl. 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 I'm with you, Jess. She's, I'm she's totally lost. with you. And how is she going to say it's weak, though? But that's what the thing where she said it's weak. For a woman to leave an unfaithful husband, that bothered me. I'm like, what you mean is weak? Because like, it, takes a, it takes it takes takes a strong woman to stay and work it out and try to figure out what the problems it, are. It, it could also, therapy, it right? Could also it's easy to walk away, is what she's saying. It's easier to walk away. Not always. Not always. Sometimes it takes strength to walk away from a relationship and a situation that is bad for you. Like you know, we've had women on here. Like we've interviewed them who have been beaten mm -hmm. by men. It took a lot of strength for them to get out of there. So this is not. Obviously, he's physical abuse, up, but he's still abusing her. He's he's not, you know, respecting their relationship and you know, dipping out on her with other women. Mm -mm. Tamara Rivera, crazy. Do, do Listen, you, I you, wish her the best with her and Waka Flocka. You and your but family. She, so, I mean, if this is not something that's new, if it was in the South or in Jamaica or Trinidad, the man would have a whole other family. Go to Miss Whatever. House. Whatever. Listen, and, 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 and he could Sue get left. He would not get left with all of damn kids. No, no, no. Yes, he could get left. cooking in a pot. They leaving no. him. No. Nobody leaving nobody. They leaving him. A he whole family. Not, a, not just a jump off on the side. But speaking of leaving people, Kourtney Kardashian left Scott Disick. But Forever. now. No, no, no. But now they are back. Together. Well, he they're, paid they're his dudes. They're back. He paid his dudes. She tortured that man. He was a what? sick man, though. Don't you? Did you watch the show in two thousand and seven? He was crazy. Okay, but they it's two thousand and sixteen, and he was tortured from two thousand and seven to two thousand and sixteen. Oh Lord! I think he paid his debt to society. She would torture him. You see how dry she would be oh talking God. to him. Okay, yeah, she did. And when his parents passed away and he was depressed, they'd be like, "You need to get out of your depression." Like his yeah, mom and father like, oh, didn't just pass away. Like, Look, she was like, oh, anyway, like, he paid. He paid. All right, but, Good, okay. he should get that woman because he stayed around this is, forever. This well, is, that's a Kardashian <laughs> coach anyway. You know you ain't leaving them till they say go. Oh, oh my. Okay, so, so you're like, yes, this is a good thing. What do you say? Nobody else want her. She going to get another, she going to get a black man. <laughs> Look another one up. No, I don't know. Let I, I don't know. The relationship was really difficult. I don't even know if they really like each other. <laughs> they never slept together. They have like three kids. They're not married. I I don't understand. Uh, yeah. And he has a lot of emotional problems too he with his parents. Does. He so does. does. Oh my god. So she does she, too. What does she, she have? How does she deal with him? How can she, how does she will him into her life if she didn't have that going on too? Oh, she is man. just as batshit crazy, and she's a Kardashian. So if you like wife them up. Then they can leave the black guys alone. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Wow, really? Is that so really? Okay. That was that. Is that racist? I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're not. You're I'm really not. I'm just tired tired of the Kardashian cooch. Really, actually, they should bottle that up and sell it. Oh my gosh! Could you wow. imagine if you could sell if you could well, buy some? Listen, like the Kardashian fragrance, right? <laughs> and then what happened? Is he? Spray it down Girl, like one no. of those air fresheners. No. Like, no. no. <laughs> Jazz was like, no. Virgin no. Stop. Stop. All right. Listen. I will take I some. I don't know about all that. No. I don't I don't want the yeah, I don't want the Kardashian for your fragrance. <laughs> but <laughs> I do want you to keep it locked because when we come back, we're bringing you the 411 social where we're gonna be telling you all about our social media world. Keep it where you got it. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you.
Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Our photo of the week is Heidi Klum and Venus Williams posing at the Roche Bouvoir and Ocean Drive Magazine December issue celebration. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Fuck, fuck, fuck. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... It is I. Groves, zinc or bell? Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Welcome back to What's the 411. We are now bringing you our The 411 Social Report with our very own Jasmine. Jasmine, tell us what's going on in social, <laughs> <laughs> the social media role of What's the 411. So we started a project to connect people on social media with our videos featuring celebrities, and so far it's been going pretty well. Okay. We wanted to give a shout out to Catherine Ennis for commenting on What's the 411 TV's 100th episode in our Facebook Yay. group. Nice, and thank you. And shout out Woo. to Darling Nini for sharing the post too. Yay! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good for her. Mm -hmm. We also wanted to give a couple of shout outs to Deanne C. Bailey, at Food in Detroit, at Shola K, and at Alan Paul Official for their comments on the happy birthday to Barry Gordy Jr. post on Instagram. Nice. Yeah, I Thanks, was like, guys. look, we have video with Barry Gordy where we interview ba Barry Gordy. I was like, ah, oh, that was so nice. We're lit, we're lit. We're <laughs> I'm lit. lit in the house. Check us out on what's the 411.com, girl. <laughs> And shout out to Delisa Fields for sharing our Barry Gordy Jr. birthday greeting. Mm -hmm. And that was also posted on our Facebook group. Yes, yes. Nice, that was very nice. And shout out to Carl Solo for commenting on our post commemorating the late legendary filmmaker and photographer Gordon Parks. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. nice, nice, nice. Carl Solo was surprised to learn that he and Gordon Parks shared the same birthday. That's always exciting when you realize like a celebrity uh, shares your birthday. It's like, yes. You're my mm -hmm. birthday twin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Regarding well wishes for Kanye West at Poncina five two eight, she said she saw his breakdown coming. Better now than later. Mm. I mm. guess so that he has time to like get it together and right? recover, especially with his young children now. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Maybe like, he can right. back up his tour. I didn't think about the children. The ch one's one, and the other one's like three. Goodness. Yeah, yeah they're so I didn't young. think about the children. That's so crazy. That's I've so been sad. Talking all this crap about Kanye, and I haven't thought about his him babies. being someone's dad. Basically. Mm. Kanye's someone's dad, guys. Let's pray for him, I guess. Pray for uh -huh. Yeezy. Look at you laughing. <laughs> he should probably call himself man. Yeezy. I know, right? That's me. Sure. Jesus had a lot of stuff going on with Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, Jemmy had Monty commented saying that she's absolutely happy for Courtney Kardashian and Scott Disick getting back together. Hey, well, somebody has to I, have them. She was yeah. happy for them. She was the first one to comment as soon as the video was posted. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So yeah. you know, you guys, we want to give you a shout out. So always remember to follow us at What's the Four One TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Now we have your motivational quote of the week, and we have it from Denise Hurley, and here it goes. Attract what you expect Reflect what you desire, become what you respect, and mirror what you admire. That's mm, nice, that's Denise. Nice Good. Thank you, Denise. And if you want your motivational quote on our television show, then 
put it on our Facebook page at What's the 411 TV and we may just mention you. Denise, we've done it a couple times for you. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Welcome back to Worcester 4 and 1. Now we're bringing you events that are in the pipeline. And it's holiday time, y'all. Holiday time. Yes. yes. And the grand finale of Afropolitan NYC, an ultimate evening of connections and culture over cocktails at New York City's largest and most diverse Afro-Caribbean experience will be held on Friday, December 16th, 6 p.m. at the Copacabana Main Ballroom, which is located at 268 West 47th, West 47th Street in Manhattan. Now, I've been to these many times. It's really? a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, okay. it's a lot of fun. Is it always at the Copa? No, it's a different location. Okay. Um, but it's really good, lots of fun, packed. They have drink specials, y'all. You know, <laughs> um, there's free admission before 7 p.m., but check out Eventbrite for more details. I'll get your holiday groove on at the Salsa Brunch. It's going to be at the Angel of Harlem, which is uh, 2272 Frederick Douglass Boulevard, December 17th, oh, nice. between the hours of 12 and 5. Okay. So, okay. Let's so you do can get it. your Afro Caribbean on one day and then you get your salsa yeah. on the next day, <laughs> Latino. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> And put this on your calendar, folks. Hidden Figures, which we've talked about so many times. Got to see that movie. It's a new movie about three black women mathematicians that worked at NASA and who were instrumental in the launch of astronaut John Glenn into space orbit. And it will be released on January 13th, 2017. Yep. The film will start Taraji P. Henson, Octavia Spencer, and Ooh. Janelle Monae. Uh -huh. Powerhouse. Oh, that's going to be nice. Right? Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I can't wait to see I it. I love Janelle Monet. I love her too. I do too. She is just such an artist I in every facet of the word. Yeah. yeah. I saw her in Moonlight too. Good movie. Really good movie. So I can't believe it. Like, the show. It's, no. just, uh, it's done. No, it's, it's not. Mm -hmm. Yes. That will do it for this week's episode of What's the 4 and 1, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. That was so much fun. I know. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, <laughs> until next week, check us out on our website, www.whatsthe411.com. Yes. And remember to hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, all at What's the 4 and 1 TV. Yeah. Check out all our social media outlets. Check out our website. And comment and we might mention you on the show yes definitely we may not be taping next week but we want you to definitely check out all our social media pages where we're bringing you all of the entertainment and lifestyle stories that you care about i'm kizzy cox and on behalf of jasmine blake and Anika mcqueen thank you for watching what's important one happy holidays happy, happy holidays, holidays. <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs> remember <laughs>